Traditionally, engineers have communicated their designs through hand sketches, drawings, reports, and specifications. But in current practice though, drawings are starting to be replaced to a certain extent by BIM or building information modeling. In this video, I'm gonna look into the future and explore the possibility that another type of deliverable will take over from BIM, just like BIM is currently taking over from drawings. So the first thing I'd say about BIM taking over from drawings is that it has been and will continue to be a very slow process for the industry. Um, despite modeling having been around for decades now, it's only for the very large projects that BIM has now become a standard deliverable for the project. And I'd say that's only been happening in the last couple of years. And so for most medium and small projects or a majority of projects still, drawings will still be the deliverable um, and BIM won't be required. So there is evidence of change happening though. For example, these days it's pretty common for a design team to share around models between each other and a long time before the drawings are actually produced. Um, not to say that there's always gonna be a place for consultants cutting sections and plans of work in progress and sharing that information around, uh, marking it up in something like Bluebeam, for example. But I think in the future, it'll get to the point maybe where consultants will say, well, all our information is in the model. So there's no point in me producing a markup when you can just have a look at what information is already available. Another example I worked on recently, they started the fabrication model based on no drawings but a work in progress model that the design team had been collaborating on. So again, hadn't waited for drawings before proceeding to fabrication. There's even been projects where there's no drawings produced at all. Um, I listened to an example recently where a bridge was built and the workers on site were discouraged from using any printed plans at all and they had to rely on tablet computers to locate the elements for design and they were even laying out reinforcement. So 3D reinforcement was all done via tablets and no printed plans. As a half step in the transition though, it's now common for normal drawings to be produced by cutting plans and sections from a model. So that has the advantage of saving a fair bit of time and effort in the short term. I think it's worth noting that due to the increased amount of information that goes into a BIM model though, it's unlikely that existing roles in the office will be reduced uh, by this change from drawings to BIM. I think instead a lot of people will upskill and there'll be more value put into the BIM model um, and more value provided to the client at the end of the day. Regardless, I think there's no doubt that a majority of clients will demand BIM in the future and it's just only going to increase. Even in the medium term though, I don't think BIM is going to completely take over from drawings and I don't think it will displace hand sketches for example. Hand sketches are just too useful, they're immediate, they're very flexible and you can explain concepts on the fly in meetings, all that sort of stuff. They're never going to go away. Likewise, I don't think drawings are ever going to completely go away. BIM may um, perform a lot of the roles that drawings used to do, but there will always be a place for drawings. So conceptually, I think the percentage of 
the different types of documentation might look something like what's on screen at the moment and that's just a rough guess. So say we do get to the saturation point though, is there anything beyond that? Is there anything beyond BIM? And I'm not talking about digital twins which I think is just an iteration of BIM. So there has been a concept around for a while now that could potentially be a fourth type of documentation and it's now starting to become possible. So what this is is effectively a set of rules or a script which describes how building elements will be placed given a geometric area. So if the room is changed, stretched in any direction, the script will dictate how the elements that make up the room are placed. This is called generative design. This concept can be used by architects like in the example of the room or for facades or other elements of the building but it can equally be used by engineers. So for example, for a structural engineer, it may automatically frame out a building based on the floor plate. It will automatically place the columns and the beams, etc., based on the engineer's script. In a similar way that BIM has been adopted to automatically produce drawings, scripts could automatically produce BIM and drawings. So a lot of manual work that was once spent on producing drawings has now been automated by BIM, but in the future, potentially a script could automatically produce a BIM model and the drawings. So in this scenario, the old role of sharing drawings around between the design team, which is now becoming sharing BIM models, will be replaced by sharing scripts between the design team. And the BIM model will automatically be generated by the script. So for example, a consulting firm might have a tall building script or a bridge design script or a hospital design script. And that will automatically generate a model based on the geometry that the architect specifies or the geometry of the site and the consultant will be in charge of specifying the script rather than manually modeling everything based on the information provided. So this might seem pretty far-fetched to some people at the moment but the fact is that it's actually started to happen in some small ways already so I don't see why if the technology continues to improve uh, it should continue to happen in that way. I think there'll probably need to be some new standards put in place uh, once it starts to be uh, adopted but again probably a fair way in the future but definite possibility. And as with the change from CAD to BIM that's happening at the moment I don't think there will be less roles in the industry. In fact, I think there's probably going to be more because projects will be more efficient and there's going to be a lot more options available to designers. So people will probably upskill and that's going to lead to even better and better projects and better outcomes for clients at the end of the day. Just like with the change to BIM also, if generative design does become the new standard delivery method, I don't believe the other methods will disappear at all. Scripts will produce both the drawings and the BIM automatically, but both of these outputs will no doubt continue to be used. So if we look at our graphs before, the future might look something like what's on the screen at the moment. So what should you take away from this possible path forward in the future? I think, again, change has been very slow up to this point and it will continue to be slow. Hand sketching and CAD and BIM skills will probably never go away. In fact, BIM skills will most likely 
increase in demand in the future. So it's a good skill set to have. Having said that, if your role involves something that is likely to be automated in the future, it's probably a good idea to start researching and upskilling in some of the new technologies. Either way, I think it's a pretty exciting possibility for the future. I think it would have a pretty positive impact on the industry and allow for more options in design and better outcomes for clients and end users. But let me know what you think in the comments. Maybe you think it's a long way off yet or it's going to cost too much and the clients won't want to pay for it, for example. But either way, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching this structured parametrics video. Leave a like or subscribe if you found this useful and we'll see you in the next one.